So hey guys, in this video we are going to learn what eigenvalue and eigenvector, how to find out for two cross two. Okay. So that means a square matrix having two rows and two columns. How we have to find out the eigenvalue and eigenvector. The first step is to find the characteristic equation. Characteristic equation can be found out using two methods. Using that characteristic equation, we can find out first eigenvalue. Using that eigenvalue, we can find out what corresponding eigenvectors. So let's let us proceed with the first step. So we are having two methods. The first method is to find the determinant of a minus lambda i equal to zero. Okay, where a is the matrix given in the question, and lambda is the eigenvalue, i is the identity matrix corresponding to the whatever the order of the matrix is there. If it is two cross two, we have to take the identity matrix two cross two. Equate it to zero. Since we have to find the equation, from that we can simplify and get the value of lambda, which is eigen vector. The second method is the formula of that lambda square minus s one lambda plus s two is equal to zero. Now, what is the meaning of s one and s two? That is the question, right? So, s one basically means what? Sum of diagonal elements. What is S two now? S two is the determinant of A. Okay, so when you apply the these two S one and S two, we can get the answer directly. So I will prefer the second method. It is quite easy for two cross two. Okay, you can choose any method that is fine. So let us do by the first method first, and proceed with the second method. So we are taking up the first method and then second method. Both the answers should match. That is okay. So starting with the first method. That is a minus lambda i, okay, equated to zero. Now a matrix we know that is given by minus one, three, minus two, and four. This matrix minus lambda i, right? So minus lambda into i. So I hope you understood what I have written here. This part is nothing but a, and here it is minus lambda, then i. Both will be two cross two matrix. Okay, order should be same. So when you subtract, what will happen? Now we are going to subtract two corresponding elements. We have to subtract. Okay. So when you subtract, what happens? It will become minus one minus lambda, right? Then three minus zero is what? Three minus two minus zero is what? Minus two. Then four minus lambda is four minus lambda. Now I have to find the determinant, so I'll put the determinant sign and equate it towards zero. Okay, this is what we have to do. Directly you can get this value. What this value you can directly write without this doing this step. So I this is for this explanation purpose. Okay, how we are getting this? See, simple thing is that a is the a matrix is the so this diagonal elements minus one and four are the diagonal elements. With that, you put minus lambda. That's it. Okay, so you can observe here minus one minus lambda, four minus lambda. Rest all terms will remain same. That's it. Equate it to zero and find the answer. You can avoid these two steps. Next, coming back to this, we have to find the determinant. How to find the determinant? We have we know that multiplication of these two. So it is. Minus one minus lambda into four minus lambda. Then we have to put minus sign. Yes, minus. Then minus two into three. It is minus two into three. Equate it to zero. Now what we can do? This particular equation we have got. Now we can simplify and get the value. This is one method to find the characteristic equation. Okay. One more method we discussed. This is the traditional method using this formula. One more method we discussed. That was what? That was this one using the formula, right? So let us try to use the formula and find out the answer. I need to find S one and S two, right? S one is nothing but the sum of diagonal elements. We know that here diagonal elements. If you see. 
that is equal to minus 1 plus 4 right so what is minus 1 plus 4 it is plus 3 next i have to find s2 which is the sum uh, not sum determinant of a so determinant of a which is equal to how to find the determinant simple thing multiplication of this two it will become minus 1 into 4 minus multiplication of minus 2 into 3 so here we are getting what how much you are getting the value it is minus 4 plus 6 right so it is equal to plus 2 now after this we have to equate it to the given equation so it is lambda square minus s1 lambda it will become minus 3 lambda plus s2 it is 2 e equal to 0 now we observe this particular equation then the equation we found out whether it is same or not this particular equation and this particular e equation is exactly same but this equation second method required only a minimal amount of time okay so it is better if you go with the second method for two cross two methods Anyways, it is fine if you go with the traditional method also, you can find the, the answer. Anything is fine. Let us proceed with the next step, step number 2. Lambda value. So, after getting the characteristic equation, we have to find the lambda value. So, what happens? Lambda square minus 3 lambda plus 2 is equal to 0. Always remember, for 2 cross 2, you will be getting a quadratic equation. This can be solved using many methods. One method is using the calculator if it is allowed. Second method you can go by factorization. Either you can use the quadratic formula or, or the, the factorization method which is called as splitting a middle term. So I will prefer what splitting a middle term. Okay. So what happens? The middle term is minus 3. This we have to split up into two parts. And coefficient of lambda square is what so you can compare it with this thing you can just take it as lambda as x square for understanding so lambda i am taking as x so it will become x square minus 3x plus 2 equal to 0 for just understanding purpose i am doing so coefficient of x square is 1 so 1 into 2 is how much 2 so while multiplying you should get 2 and while adding you should get the middle term minus 3 okay so two factors i have to take it is 1 and 2 only so using 1 and 2 I can get the value of minus 3. Yes, it is possible. So I will take here what values as what? Minus 1 and minus 2. And why am I taking minus 1 and minus 2? So when you add, you should get minus 3, right? So minus 1 and minus 2 is minus 3. And when you and when you multiply, you should get plus 2. Okay, you should get plus 2. This is multiplication, this is addition. Okay, so you are getting that my two terms will be minus 1 lambda and minus 2 lambda simple so this can be written as lambda square minus lambda minus 2 lambda plus 2 is equal to 0 so grouping from first two terms i can take lambda outside lambda outside it will be lambda minus 1 and next two terms i can take what 2 outside here also lambda minus 1 should be the common thing always you know this and this should be same so outside it will be minus 2 okay then only you can get the answer minus 2 into lambda is minus 2 lambda minus 2 into minus 1 is plus 2 okay these two are same so i can write it as lambda minus 1 and uh, what is left out lambda minus 2 equal to 0 equal to 0 now when you know that these two are multiplication factors this can be said as lambda minus 1 is equal to 0 and lambda minus 2 is equal to 0 from this lambda value will be equal to plus 1 and from this lambda value is equal to plus 2 so we have got the two values of lambda 1 and 2 step number 3 now as we know after getting the lambda value the which is nothing but the eigen values right so eigen values we got it got how much two values 1 and 2 corresponding eigen vectors we have to find right so for that purpose let us take that lambda is equal to 1 will be okay now what is the method always remember 
we have to form it in which uh, we have to bring it in this form matrix a minus lambda i into x matrix equal to 0 okay all in matrix form now here a minus lambda i matrix you have to write what is the a minus lambda i matrix as we know so which is nothing but this matrix so this exact thing i am going to write it over there right a minus lambda i we found out right this matrix i have to just copy paste over here into now this set x matrix what is this matrix this is basically your column matrix which will which is nothing but the eigen vector okay so column matrix we have to form so it is all of the order what two rows and one column so you can take it as x and y so which is equal to what zero matrix zero means what zero and zero i have to write simple thing so always remember this is two cross two and this is two cross one this is again two cross one okay so this will be the orders of the matrices now next step now this you can take what x1 x2 y1 y2 anything is fine i generally take what x and y variables that is also a same thing okay now coming to this lambda is equal to 1 it is given because we got the value as lambda is equal to 1 just substitute here what will happen minus 1 minus lambda so minus 1 minus 1 is minus 2 3 as it is minus 2 as it is 4 minus 1 is again 3 done now again x y has come equal to what 0 0 done from this we have to form equation how to form equation very simple just multiplication of these two matrices okay so this row into this column we have to multiply second row into this column you have to multiply you will be getting two equations so minus 2x plus 3y is equal to what 0 is equal to 0 next second row minus 2x plus 3y is equal to what again 0 here both the equations are same right after this we have to we can only take only one equation so any any equation is fine so we will take one equation that is minus 2x plus 3y equal to 0 i'll take from this equation i have to get the value of x and y to form the eigenvector which is x y column matrix so just send y over there so minus 2x equal to minus 3y so always try to bring it in which form x equal to y form where x coefficient should be positive 1 here also positive 1 below it can be anything this anything will be the eigenvector now here minus and minus i can cancel it out now as i said i have to make it as positive unity right positive plus 1 so the basic idea is minus uh, sorry 2 can be sent over there and 3 can be brought here so it will become x by 3 is equal to y by 2 simple thing simple i have thing i have written here so now you observe this is positive 1 coefficient positive 1 coefficient whatever is below this that will make the eigenvector okay so the eigenvector x y is equal to so what is below x it is 3 right 3 what is below y it is 2 right 2 this is nothing but the eigenvector corresponding to eigenvalue 1 okay let us go for the second eigenvalue so second eigenvalue we got it as how much plus 2 so i am going to take that again the same procedure has to be followed so i am going to take 2 so the matrix will become minus 1 minus 2 it will become minus 3 3 as it is minus 2 also same 4 minus 2 is 2 then x y is sitting equal to 0 okay again the same thing we are going to do we are going to form the equation so what will happen this row first row into this column equal to 0 second row into this column equal to 0 okay two equations minus 3x plus 3y equal to 0 minus 2x plus 2y equal to 0 two equations now both the equations are not same what will you do there? can i take any one equation yes you can take any one equation so how to decide which equation should be taken 
okay so if you take any one equation and get the value of x and y it will be same for the other equation also so here let me just show you the both the cases so here i am going to take the first equation so 3x minus 3x plus 3y is equal to 0 as i said before also i have to bring it in the form of x equal to y below something will be there okay so minus 3x just send this part that side it will become minus 3y so from this minus 3 minus 3 cancel what is remaining x equal to y now you will ask me what is below the x and y we cannot write it as 0 right simple thing it is always 1 see any number if it is written 2 i can write it as 2 by 1 the same logic has to be applied here so x by 1 and y by 1 okay this is the first equation I have taken. What about the second equation if I take? Second equation also same thing. Minus 2x plus 2y is equal to 0. If I send that thing uh, 2y that side, it will become minus 2y. Minus 2 minus 2 cancel. x equal to y. Below 1 and 1 I can write. That means it's the same thing. Right. So what I understood from this? That x, y, the matrix eigenvector will be equal to 1 one okay so this will be the final answer so we have got two eigenvalues corresponding to eigenvectors